16 horses. That's the answer to the question, how you get the nickname Fighting Joe. I'm talking about Joe Wheeler, the Confederate general who was born not far from this site at Almond and what is now called Wheeler Road. Yes, it was named for him. And he also had 16 horses shot out from under him during the American Civil War. He was wounded three times, but he didn't die. Although several of the officers on his staff did, there were 36 of them who were killed or wounded. All of this is a pretty good indication of a general who didn't shy away from a fight. Joseph Wheeler, for whom Augusta's Wheeler Road is named, was born in 1836 in a house that stood near today's Wheeler Road, Almond Road intersection. He always told people he was a Georgian, although he didn't live here that much. He graduated from West Point, but almost didn't get in because he was so short. Courage, however, has no height restriction. Unlike most of his horses, Joe Wheeler survived the Civil War. He went to Alabama. He became a lawyer and a businessman. And then his career, if you can believe this, became even more remarkable. And I'll tell you about that when we get back. Augusta native Joe Wheeler ran for Congress in Alabama. He served in the U.S. Congress for almost 20 years. He was known for preaching reconciliation between the North and the South and how we all had to come together. And he showed that when the Spanish-American War broke out. He volunteered to go back into the Army. They made him a general. During one of his first engagements in Cuba, Wheeler was said to have shouted, Let's go, boys, we've got the damn Yankees on the run again, somewhat mixing up his enemies. He fought at San Juan Hill and later the Philippines. When Wheeler did die, the news coverage of his funeral indicates a man nationally respected. Wealthy businessmen J.P. Morgan and John Jacob Astor were honorary pallbearers. Major General Frederick Grant, the son of Wheeler's old Yankee opponent, General U.S. Grant, led the funeral parade. A train took Wheeler's body to Washington, D.C. and Arlington National Cemetery, where he became one of the few former Confederates to be buried, and Georgia named Wheeler County in southwest Georgia after him. These were all fitting honors for a man who served in both the Northern and Southern armies. Something for you to think about next time you're driving down Wheeler Road in Augusta. Maybe you could say a prayer for those 16 horses. For more of Kirby's Augusta, subscribe to us on YouTube or check us out on AugustaChronicle.com.